Let's write the atomic orbital diagram for bromine, that's Br. And the first thing we need to do before we can write the atomic orbital diagram for bromine, we have to write its electron configuration. Bromine on the periodic table, its atomic number, that's 35. And the atomic number, that's the number of protons, it's equal to the number of electrons for neutral elements. All the elements listed on the periodic table, they're neutral. So bromine, that's right here, and it has those 35 electrons. So we're going to follow the pattern on the periodic table here until we get to 35, and when we get to bromine and we've used those electrons. So we start off 1s1, 1s2, that's full second energy level, 2s1, 2s2. Then we go to the P, 2P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. P holds up to 6, so it's 2P, 6. We've used 10 of our 35 electrons. Third energy level, they have 3S, 2, 3P, 6. We're at the fourth energy level, 4S, 2. And then we go to the 3D, and D can hold up to 10. So we have 3D, 10, and we go to the 4P, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and there's bromine, so 4P, 5. If you count these numbers up, they'll add up to 35. So we can use this to write the atomic orbital diagram for bromine. So both this electron configuration for bromine and the atomic orbital diagram, we're just trying to show where the electrons are around the nucleus of the bromine atom. You could think of the nucleus as being down here, and these are energy levels. They're around the nucleus, kind of like shells. So we start off 1s2, two electrons opposite directions, 2s2, 2p6, spread them out, and then pair them up. 3s2, 3p6, 4s2. For the 3d, we have 10, spread them out, and then pair them up. And we end up with 4p5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is the atomic orbital diagram for bromine. Again, these represent the same thing. We're just trying to show where those electrons are around the nucleus of the bromine atom. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.